Welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the 1992 Porsche 911 Carrera. Now to start the video, I don't know much about this vehicle's history, how it was built, or really anything much about it just in general other than it is, in my opinion, the best looking European sports car kind of ever built. So uh, right now, obviously, this is a car, not a tank. So over the next few days, I think I'm going to start building some cars, as you, you can probably see from Garrett DBY4's videos, he's doing some cars, so I guess I kind of got pull, pulled into doing cars as well, and I'm really enjoying it, so this is the second car I built, the Porsche 911, it's a very small and compact, it's 2 to 1 scale, so will fit with most other people's builds, and it just looks awesome. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get started building. To begin the build, we're going to start with the middle layer, well, as usual. However, since this build is uh, four blocks long, that's going to be a little complicated. So, as the middle two rows are totally the same, I'm just going to build one row to this side, which is uh, the, the third the third row, starting from the right. And it's just going to be the, you're just going to be building it twice. So let's get started. First, we're going to place down one place a block and a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now do that twice, so you should have a row of two. And in the front of these two, you're going to be placing two birch signs. And we're going to pull out some item frames, put two right here. And in them, we're going to place some black beds. So have the pillows uh, facing towards each other just like this. Uh, sorry, that is, uh, have some facing away from each other. There we go. And, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm really bad at item frames, sorry. <laughs> and at the back, uh, I don't believe there is anything. Nope, okay. So now we're going to do the two outside rows, which involves just an iron trapdoor. And then in front of it, there's going to be a birch sign an item frame, and a white bed, which I believe is just the pillows facing inward, but since it's totally white, it doesn't really matter. And of course, we're going to do this to the other side, since World Edit does not copy item frames or anything in them. I'm just going to have that facing inwards like that. Okay, so that's the front of the first layer all done. Now we're going to put down some black wool for the first wheel behind this iron trapdoor. But to the side of the iron trapdoor, we're going to put in another bird sign. So for the wheel, you're just going to put down one stone button, but I'm going to put down an item frame and a custom wheel map I made uh, earlier, like a two hours of work. I will, if you want, if you want to make one of these things yourself, I will put a video in the description that basically explains the very basics of. Uh, how to make custom images in maps and stuff like that, and you can you can try your best to make your own wheel hub if you want. But it's it took me, took me like two hours by itself, so there's no way I'm doing a tutorial on that. Anyway, behind the wheel, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, and four quartz slabs, a black wool, then whatever you put on the wheel. So in my case, item frame, another wheel hub. And another uh, up-facing iron trapdoor. And birch signs to either side. Now to the side of this uh, iron trapdoor, we're going to have an item frame. And we're going to pull out a orange bed right here. For what I believe is just blinkers. And we're going to have the pillow facing forward. Just like that. Now that should finish up the first layer, and then we can move on to layer two. To start the second layer, we're going to grab some snow blocks, or just some uh, snow dustings, or whatever these things are called, and we're going to place down one, two, and three. So of course you're going to do this on uh, the right or left side, and then you're just going to copy it over to the uh, other side or the left. 
just so it's right in the middle, and then another uh, block of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to place down two stairs that are fa that are facing uh, away from from each other, so it should look like this. And then behind these two two stairs, there should be a two black wool. Once you have these two stairs placed down, we're going to put down a row of just one and two black wool. Now on the left side where the driver is sitting, you're going to place down one item frame and whatever you want to stick inside of it. So I'm just going to stick the wheel hub inside for the steering wheel, even though it's not even close, but too lazy to actually do a steering wheel. And on this side, uh, actually we're not going to do anything behind these two black wool. It's going to be two, two uh, just carpets on the ground whatever color you want. I just want to stick to stick with white. On the left side where the driver is, again, it's going to be one birch stair for the actual driver's seat. And to the uh, right side, it's going to be just one quart stair for uh, nothing. Here we're going to, behind the two stairs, we're going to skip one block. And then we're going to place down another uh, smooth quartz block, which is what a car is made out of. So skip one block, place down a row of two smooth quartz, and we're also going to take a lever. So place it right behind the smooth quartz and flick it downwards. Now at the back of these two blocks, we're going to take a iron trapdoor, place it right at the back, like so, and that should finish off the middle row. Now for the sides, we're going to place down one quartz stair facing towards us on the iron trapdoors on the side, put an item frame, and a snowball for the iconic 911 headlights. And also there's going to be a smooth quartz behind. And now for the doors, it's going to be a row of one, two, and three dorite walls. And then behind the last dorite wall, it should be a row of one and two smooth quartz, and then a quartz stair right at the back. On this quartz stair, we're going to put down one bird sign. Oh, sorry, uh, this... Oh, I messed up twice, okay. So these quartz should not exist. They should be uh, upside down uh, quartz, uh, quartz stair for the fenders. I apologize for that mess up. And we're going to place down a bird sign on them. So once you have that uh, quick fix in place, we're going to put down an item frame on this rear stair. And inside of it, we need a red bed, or as real Minecrafters would say, just a normal bed. And we're going to have the uh, pillow facing inwards. I'm going to do this to the other side. And just have the mirror image like that. And that should finish off one thing is left. So before we finish off layer three, we're going to place down one stone button on this smooth quartz block right here. Now that should finish off layer three, and we can move on to layer four. I mean, two, move on to uh, three. Yes. For the third layer, we're gonna take some green carpet and place one on the top of the first two fenders, on the left side and the right side. And in the middle, we're gonna place two, two white carpets on the stairs that are facing away from each other, so we should form a nice little air vent from the front. And also, we're going to take some skeleton skulls and place two on either side on the first dorite walls at a 45 degree angle, so the heads are facing towards us. These will be the, uh, the pillars for the cabin. And we're going to take some black stained glass Place down two black stained glass on top of the two black wool below it. And place a dorite wall to the right and left sides. Uh, to the side of the dorite wall, which we don't need anymore, we'll place a skeleton skull for the mirrors. And also, we'll need some more black stained glass. So do a row of one, two, this will be three, and this will be four. So we should have a row of two glass two dry walls, behind that is just four glass. Now we're going to just place down two more glass behind the row of four glass. And it's going to be one, oh, sorry, we're going to place down one ups, upside down quartz stair. Just trying to place off of this uh, black stained glass. 
so it should look like that and it'll give the uh, once we have the roof in place it will give the iconic swoop and using some nether brick stairs uh, yes nether brick stairs we're going to do the back of the windows so two nether brick stairs right behind the row of two glass and also a black carpet for what I believe is some sort of ventilation and these two black carpets will be on top of the two smooth quartz. I'm also going to take a quartz stair, place it as a corner stair, right up to the side of the nether brick. And lastly, we're going to place down two, sm sm two smooth quartz slabs right on top of the iron trap doors in the back. And to either side, we're going to place down a birch sign for the spoiler. Although this is not necessary, as some versions have them, some versions don't. I don't know if it was actually standard or specifically standard for the 1992 version, but I think it just looks better because spoilers make everything look better. Now just I'm going to check around the vehicle. So that should actually finish up layer 3, and we can move on to the roof layer right now. So let's grab some white carpets. Let's grab some snow. So we're going to place down two white carpets. The first one's going to be on top of this uh, first uh, black stained glass, and then right behind it, it's going to be on top of this upside down stair. Same thing, of course, on the other side. And two carpets on top of these first two black stained glass. And also, we're going to place down a two by two square, square of snow. And that, I believe, should finish off our 1992 Porsche 911 Carrera. I hope you have enjoyed the video and see you next time for some more cars. Give me